I am at the ever-changing uh, bee condos. Must be driving my bees crazy. Well, I created a bunch of excitement. I had a bunch of bees here, and um, I've, um, you know, I think they're Italians. Uh, they're darker. They're a little like Italians. I think mine, you know, mine are uh, not Italians. They're lighter, whatever they are. I think of the the more the European ones. I'm not sure which ones they are, but these are Italians. I'm pretty sure they're darker. Uh, mine are much lighter. And and uh, what I did was I got one queen. This this box here doesn't have a queen, right? But it's actually going to hatch a new queen. But I don't know if it's going to take or not. So I actually have the queen and some of her escort in here with paper here so they can eat their way in. I've got the holes blocked up down here. I, they can get in and out up here um, if they figure it out. Um, and I've got this uh, excluder, which the queen can get through. Um, as you can see here, I put some... The, those are the bees from that one in there. Then uh, what I, the second thing I did was this, was the other bees, there were a bunch of them with no queen, I don't think. And I put them in these two boxes here with honey and everything else. There's a bunch of them in there. And there's paper between this box, which is my main colony down here, right? And here's my main colony down here. I got the door some, somewhat closed. And thanks, I need to pick up those nails. Thanks, buddy. As you can see, my bees are lighter, really light. You know, look at how light they are. And uh, the other bees are really, really dark, or much darker. Let's see if I can find one. Right here, see how he's much darker on the back? He's eating some, I put some syrup down there. So um, those Italian, you know, they're trying, I, I'm hoping they're gonna beg their way in and, and join the new colony and, and be one happy family. So right now there's really two hives that one's empty. Once I cut, you know, I want to cut some of these cones up, and I've got all this is full of cool. This is all full of um, of what's it called um, frames. So what you know, what I need to do is actually get, make a deep. I have a box. I'm gonna make a deep box. Make that into a deep box, or I need to make a deep box, and um, ultimately uh, use those frames. And make the box kind of the you know to fit a deep that fits on top of this one here, so um, I can put my smaller ones back into that one, um, and make that a deep. So we'll see what happens. That's the ever-evolving bee farm here. I think I mentioned I've got you know I've got um, sunflowers going to pop up all over here. This is going to be full of sunflowers. And um, I think they start about here, all the way there, back in there, some up in here. So by uh, July, there should be some, hopefully sunflowers shooting up in here. And um, I'm going to be trying to manage this and, and keeping the other weeds and stuff down. If they're flowering plants like that, I try to leave them. I didn't cut it all the way down, hoping that the, you know, to give the, the low-level plants um, a chance to come back. I cut all over there too. So that's a weak thing. Weak thing. So sunny day here. Lots of bees. Seem to be busy sorting out their turf. Let me tuck this in here. As you can see, I don't worry about too much getting stung. Only I only suit up like when I go inside. If I'm not going inside, I don't really suit up. But as you can see, they really like, um, this is some cone from the other hive, I just stuck it on here. And there's pollen there that I found that they had, this is more pollen here. They seem to be eating it up. So I've taken the food out, here's one of the, their bees, I don't know if you can see how dark he is. It's really dark. The thing is, these guys don't have an enter, well, they do. Why did I cut off their exit? Actually, they have an exit here. 
you know what? Just thought of that. I think I'm gonna open that up real quick. Because they have no way to feed, so I need to let them get out and get in. Alright, bye.